Hey guys, Mega Strike here. Today I bring you an awesome redstone tutorial. So I'll be uh, showing you guys how to make two different redstone contraptions in this video. Starting off with the 2x1 flush piston door. So this is great for hiding your base. As you can see, regular wall. Lift the button. Boom. And the next, second one I'll be showing you how to make is the hidden furnace chest room. So we will just bring up this inventory, and as you see, it's just a regular chest room, but I have made this wall stand out so it's easier to see. <laughs> Normally, you would have that completely hidden. So we'll just throw on some sticks and some coal. Boom! But just, it, see, as you see, it's just, all this is this furnace is going, and it's opened up this wall to these three large chests. And then as soon as we get this out, down. Alright, so now I will be showing you how to make that. So what you're going to need is, oops, wrong one, <laughs> some, you're going to need some redstone dust, redstone repeater, button, observer, redstone torch, sticky piston, and block of your choice. And in my case, that would be ooh, uh, blue concrete. So what you're going to do is you're going to find your wall where you, where you would like to build this. Make sure that you've got some distance between your door opening and your button. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're gonna, when you dig in, hollow it out a ways so you have so you have some space to work with. So when you right right to the left of your door, one block in, place two sticky pistons right next to each other, two more on top of that, and one more facing inward. It looks kind of makes a. Uh, three quarters of a square. Then take your outer block, the one that uh, is the makes up your wall, and place it in between, filling in that one fourth of the square. Next against the top, take the block of your choice and place starting at the two pistons that are side by side, place one, two, three blocks across the top. On the left, put redstone dust. On the right, put redstone dust, and in the middle Facing towards the two pistons that are next to each other, place a redstone repeater on two ticks. Next, coming down the side, next on the to the left of the uh, pistons, make a little uh, staircase going down and looping back around towards the piston, towards the pistons right next to the door. Red redstone dust around that, and place a block right above the dust there, so that it cuts it off and it's not short circuiting it. Next, you're going to want to place, uh, we're, we're going to be, go find your button, wherever it's at. Uh, might as well be right here. I just like breaking the block under it so it's easier to see. So we know my button's right there. We want to take some redstone, a block with redstone dust on that, have it come out here so that we can build it up to the same level as this. Run some redstone dust up that. And come back over here to where your pistons are. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Without, you're going to place two blocks, don't put any redstone dust on it. On the second block, go one high, and you can break the next two, and place a redstone torch. This makes it so that your door is always shut, because the door that's always open, I think we all agree, that's just silly. I mean, why put a door at all? So next, you can connect your redstone dust uh, ladder with the torch block, and place two repeaters, and put place them on four ticks. Now, depending on how far away your button from your door is, you might want you want to do more because this delays the when I hit the button, this delays the signal so that I have time to get over to my door before it closes. So let's test that out. Fill that in. You see the button? If you can kind of fill it in a little bit, make it blend it in with your surroundings. It makes that like come back. Look at that. You can't even see the, where the button's at, but we know it's right there. So click that. Run in here, boom, and almost every time you'll make it back in. So there you go. Now you can cover that up and hide it how you like. Next, we will be doing the uh, furnace, the hidden furnace room, chest room. So you're going to need some furnaces, redstone dust, a repeater depending on the size of your room, a black of actually. Black of your choice, and some chests, and a sticky piston. 
So, however many. Oh, haha. And an observer. My bad. Uh, so, what you, what you need to do is just place the chests in however many quantities you want. And in the middle one, or whichever one you choose, break the blocks behind it so it looks like this. Now, take the observer and place it so that the little uh, signal sender is facing outward. And what you're going to do is come over here to your corner and break down these two blocks. This is where your, your chests are going to be. So, you can place those here. And then you want to place your sticky pistons uh, to the corners of your chest. Then take the block of your choice and place it up to the pistons, run it down and into the observer, and then just place your blocks back. So there, and then all you need to do is get your smelting materials, oh actually, cover that up, <laughs> smelting materials, boom. Open it right up so you get access to all three of your chests. That's great for hiding your stuff from uh, other players. And as that burns down, boom. Done. Well, guys, thanks for watching this uh, tutorial. Sorry if it's a little choppy. This is my first one, so still just getting used to it. So uh, click up in this corner to see my last video. Click up here to uh, subscribe uh, thanks for watching Megastrike signing off